Friday is finally here, and we got just the stuff for it. My name is Andreas Sachinko, and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We're gonna kick things off in Omsk, where Avangar face a worthy foe, Dino Amaska around town. Let's head straight to the second. The blue and white opened up the score, and with a shorty, Vladislav Yupremov, that's his second of the year as it beats Vasilov Demchenko between the wickets on a break. The Hawks get back even less than two minutes later. Vladimir Zharkov lets a rip, but it goes in a rookie by Mirushnichenko. They get another one right after that. Alex Broadhurst receives a long pass from Demir Sharabzanov and slings it home for his 12th of the season. Dynamo even it up in the final five of regulation. Hiroka Davets wires a Basile Kanamala from the point to force OT. The Versus cup up the puck on the breakout, giving go and Rick Boucher hits the twine on the stick side for the win. The two end the season series with the 1-1 tie as Avangard take it 3-2 on home ice. To Astana, Kazakhstan, or Tractor Challenge for risk. The two are engaged in a tight battle for the same playoff spot. The hosts jump to a quick 2 0 lead. First, Anthony Luce checks the puck to the slot, and rookie Alexander Borisevich redirects it past Kirillo Simanko. And a few minutes later, Nikita Mihailis stuffs it in on the wraparound. That's his eighth of the season, and Boris lead by two. Tractor get a go back shortly before the intermission. Bobby Hamilton puts it on net from midpoint and hits the back of the net for a power play goal. The Cats restore the two-goal lead late in the second as they cannot on a man advantage as well. Alex Grant hits the target with a huge clapper. Less than a minute later, he gets another power play talent that gives Boris a 4-1 lead headed into the third. Tractor certainly don't go down without a fight. Mikhail Kutnarevsky scores early in the third to put his team right back in it. And with 14 seconds remaining on the clock, Kutnarevsky scores his second of the night and seventh of the season as a ricochets off him on Nikita Sostikov's shot. They run out of time though. Boris holds on to the narrow lead and get a huge double here home ice. 4 3 is your final. Still in the Euros, but a little to the north, we got a battle between Automobilista, Neftekimik, and Yekaterinburg. The Wolf with an early chance as Pavel Paradin receives the puck back door, but Nikita Trumkin goes off with a great defensive play. Late in the period, the house break the ice as Alexei Makayev scores his first of the season. That's just his eighth game since recovering from a long injury. The Versus get back even late in the second. Ilya Fedotov tries to dangle his way to the net, loses the handle, but Igor Popov catches in on a broken play. A little later, Andrei Chivilov gets to the net with the toe drag, goes wide, and he just can't wrap it up. That would have been a beauty. After gimmick get the game winning goal, meter for the third. Rookie Andrei Bilazur finishes off the cross ice speed by Ansel Galimov. The Wolves game points in their fourth consecutive game as they take it 2 1 on the road. Unreal bout takes place in Magnitogorsk tonight. Red Hot Ogbars with 9 wins in the past 11 go off against Metalurg. Kazin strike first, two-time Stanley Cup champ Slava Voinov shoots from the point and sinks it past Vasily Kosichkin. Magnit could tie it up with a short-headed marker. Middle for the Fury, Pavel Akhalzin makes it a 1-1 hockey game while Danilo Yura picks up the only assist on the play. Second here right now, and Akbars respond with the shortage of their own. Formerly Kirill Simonov undresses Brandon Leipzig and leaves no chance for Kochkin. Gorgeous goal, and it's 2 1 Akbars. The hosts level it again early in the third, but it Curran hits the target with a shot from the high slot. This one comes unassisted. It goes to overtime. Slava Voinov takes a quick shot from the blue line, and Kirill Simonov gets his lumber on it. Simona finishes the night with two goals, and Akbars win another one after Zinus Dilabelo is dead up. 3 2 is your final.
And now to Ufa with Salawat Yulayev welcome Sarah style. We pick it up from the second. Sergey Shmilov turns, shoots, hits Alexander Kadikin in front of the net and gets a lucky bounce. A minute later, Ryan Murphy receives the puck and open ice, steps into the shot and hits the back of the net for his third of the season. And Dakin scores his second of the game and 13th of the year on a power play just a few minutes into the third to extend the lead to 3-0. Service still bite just 15 seconds later, Ruslan Abrosimov throws a pass to Ijaf and the Bursts have life. But just a few shifts later, Artem Pimenov puts it past Mitchell Shugayev and that's so she wrote for this one. Salawat wins their second in a row as they beat Sarasal 4-1 on home ice. We drop anchor in Moscow now where defending champs Red Army meet Amor. It's the Tigers who strike first. Ivan Nikolishin shoots up the left wing and rookie sensation Yaroslav Lukachov buries the rebound. The red and blue even it up in the opening minute of the second. Anton Slepashev gets the puck and open nice and slings it past Yanis Kalnich from the circle. It stays a 1-1 game right till late in regulation. That's when Sergey Plotnikov scores a shorty to put Red Army in the lead. And less than two minutes later, after Konstantina Kulov comes up empty on a penalty shot, Mikhail Kugarenko chips in another one to put it out of reach for Amor. The Tigers give the champs a run for their money, but Red Army still get a W on all eyes. 3 1 is the final. There's just a few more scores left to tell you about. Vitas beat Sochi for the second time in as many nights. River Raskaza for Vladislav Kara with the tallies. And finally, Lokomotiv enjoyed a 1 0 win over St. Petersburg. Alexander Palutin got the only marker in the dying seconds of the second. That's it for Adela KHL update, but do come back tomorrow for three more games, including Spartak against Goodlun Red Star and Dynamo Minsk vs. Torpedo. My name is Andrea Sachimka, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to check back with us this Saturday.